Welcome to the Query Testing Channel, your software testing channel. Sharing the IT knowledge. The software testing organization in an ALM tool in just one minute. An ALM tool has at least five modules. Requirements, test plan, test lab, defects, dashboard. The module requirements document and stores all the requirements, functional and quality requirements. The module test plan documents all the test cases, test scripts and data required to run those test cases. The test plan must have some traceability to the requirements, to the module requirements. Test lab, we set all the test cases, we get the test cases from the test plan, and we set the test cases required in order to be conducted on test execution stage. The test lead prepare this test execution plan in order to be executed by the tester, the test executor. When the test executor start running the test cases, he will came across with defects and he will document those defects in this module and the module of defects. In defects, he has to document all the information related to the test case and the evidence and he will start or will rise a defect life cycle. He will send the defect to the software developer and he will make sure the defect is fixed. In the module dashboard, we get all the measures, we get the metrics in order to take decisions on real time. We get measures like uh, progress, efficiency, effectiveness, number of defects, among others. We have to take care about which engineering we are applying on those modules like requirements, test plan and test lab because they are part of the test work. The traceability of them are really important to define or determine if we are going to have some easy reusability. The requirements have to get some links to the test cases and the test cases that are run has to have as well some traceability to the requirements and the test plan. The reusability is built for the requirements and test plan modules. We have to make sure that is an easy way to reuse a requirement. We have to access to the requirement module, determine what is the best way to take one requirement and from that requirement to reduce the test cases associated to this requirement. Failure to realize on that, maybe we're going to have some problems, some headaches. Measures is fit from these two requirements, from these two modules, test lab and defects. Because in test lab, we are running the test cases. We get the test cases that are stopped, passed, stopped because an error, etc. We know if the defect is fixed or not. And we get more information about the software testing project. Thanks for watching the UA testing channel, your software testing channel. Sharing the IT knowledge. Please subscribe to our channel.